you remember a few videos ago, Dad ordered the wrong part. I think I got a bumpster kit for a 99 Up Mustang. Those were nice anodized blue, which matched nice. Riley's anodized UPR front suspension. These ones are gold for the honeys. <laughs> Whole point with the bumpster kit is to me is to adjust your tie rod ends to be at the same plane, if you will, as the control arm. Just that stack of shims and washers, and in this instance, it looks like we basically need all of them at top on the top side. Ideally, you want to check the angle to each other uh, at ride height or slightly extended, like it would be going down the racetrack. We'll put a jack under this control arm and jack it up, get it close to ride height and see if it maintains the angle. Put trans food in yet? Yeah. All right. Yes, Rob. Okay, I didn't see you do it. Just making sure. All right, so it's the next night. We buttoned everything up here. We, uh, Put in our missing uh, transmission solenoid, thanks to Jeff at Evolution. Yeah. Appreciate that. So yeah, we're gonna, Riley's uploaded his fresh tune. Mike's okayed it. You know who I mean. Mom's nervous. <laughs> and uh, crack that door open, I guess it is. <laughs> Just watch for oil pressure. So I, there's not going to go off right away? Well, like after... It might take a few seconds. Four or five possibly, seconds, you should see something. It should start going up, yeah. I'll watch for leaks. And if it decides to, like, rev up or something, get ready to shut the key off. So at the end there, I don't know, did you get it on camera? Uh, I'm not sure, but, but it started. But the engine hit um, like 70 or whatever Fahrenheit and it kicked on the uh, closed loop. So the short term fuel trims started pulling out a ton of fuel. Uh, and then it, like the RPM started going up and it started popping a bit. So it ran good before then. So we're just gonna, I right, just turn the fuel trims off. And then because we got new rings, um, we're gonna run it at 1400 RPM. At, at least. Yeah. At least, yeah. So, we'll try this out. Well, the cat's gonna freak the fuck out here. Get it on, the, oh, just the door freaked her out. Yeah, she doesn't like that door. Right, wait till the car starts, but she'll jump. Watch that oil pressure. It's already taking off. Last night we didn't get too much further. We just did a couple startups there and uh, made sure the transmission works and all that, so that's good. Tonight we're, we did a TPS sensor relearn. Yeah. 
trying to. So just kind of adjusting the set screw and now we're trying to figure out how to get the uh, GPS to be, or IMC I guess. Well, to get the, first of all, I mean, the TPS sensor, you want to be at idle, you want to be between point, what's it idle? idle? TPS supposed to be between 0.4 uh, volts. Yeah. Yeah, around 0.4 to 0.6, kind of. And, and wide open throttle around like 4.2, 4.3. So we were way below that at like 0.27 volts. So we got that up to, uh, uh, I think it's right at 4. 0.45 right now. And to get that up, you've got two options. You got to physically screw your throttle blade stop lower, which as you can see, we do have a gap there, which to me seems a little large. Or the other option is to slot and turn your TPS sensor. Now the factory ones don't have a slot to tune, so we we may have to uh, slot that and adjust that if it's it, this throttle is too far open to get it to idle. Yeah. But the other thing we're gonna play around with is the idle air control valve settings, which we need mm -hmm. to research a little more. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. But yeah, we're gonna see, we're gonna fire it up again and see, cause last night it would, wouldn't even really, didn't wanna come off idle even, so. Let's see what it does. I guess I should mention to do the TPS relearn, you have to, <clears throat> you have to, uh, of course, as you crank in the set screw, it's gonna change your throttle position reading so in order to reset your proper voltage to be at zero percent throttle you have to uh, turn the key off unplug the tps turn it back on for 10 seconds yeah, shut that. it back off 10 seconds plug it back in and then you should be reading back to zero which i think we're there yeah yeah in that the IAC position I think has to be a lot lower so it's up like 170 200 and I think it's supposed to be around like 60 or 70 with with a larger camshaft yeah so I'll look into that more see if there's something holding back the spark what did you hit your target idle there uh it's around 1000 to 1100 so it's a bit high right now. A little now. higher than we told it to idle at nine. Yeah, but did it, even, a lot. did it even come off a cold start idle though? Like, did it settle back down at the before you shut it off? Uh, I mean, it slowly came down, and before I turned it off, it came into the nine hundred. So yeah, so it's on its way down. Yeah. I just saw the zero degrees timing and wanted to check that out first. Okay, so as you can see, we have a bit of reading to do ourselves and yeah. trial and error. Mm -hmm.
back off the throttle blade so I could get a fourth off feeler gauge top and bottom, uh, which is how it's supposed to be done because the idle air control valve is supposed to do all your idling control. So in order to get the right voltage to the TPS sensor, I mean, it's hard to see, but all we did was slot the holes and there's a little timing tab somewhere around where my fingertip is there. We ground that off and that gave us the ability to to get the right TPS voltage. So it is idling real nice right now. It starts real nice. It's snappy, it revs up good. Yeah. There's a small little stumble on its way back down, which I'm sure is gonna be tunable with the idle air control valve setting, so. Yeah. But um, we're, we're gonna call tuning quits until we get the exhaust on because we've yeah. got open headers and not much point moving forward. Like no this. point in tuning until we get the exhaust on. I wasn't even going to come out tonight because I was a little tired, but Riley talked me into coming out and I'm glad we yeah. did because although it ran good last night and it started good and everything, but it had no throttle response. Yeah, and so. Now it's idling like it should be and snappy. Next video will probably be doing the exhaust, rebuilding the rear end, yeah. and putting it on the ground and Start tuning. She's insured. She's ready to drive. Yeah. The snow's almost gone, so. Wow. Could pretty much is gone as long yeah. as the roads are dry. So, if you like this video, yeah. I sure do. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Thank and you. we'll see you in the next one. Check you later. Check you later.